Reports from China say that BYD are about to use and start manufacturing en masse sodium batteries for their electric cars. Now, this is a development that I have to say I'm shocked to hear, incredibly shocked. I really didn't think sodium batteries would be used in cars. I thought they'd just be used in energy storage. But reports out of China say, you know what? I'm wrong. They are coming to EVs. You know what? Maybe the reason for this is the insane prices of lithium. Sodium batteries reportedly can be up to 30% cheaper. And, well, we don't need any lithium to make them. This really does change the game for electric cars. It changes the entire world in so many ways. This is going to have a knock-on effect. It's going to affect multiple industries. If BYD has in fact been working on sodium batteries and other manufacturers have not been, what does that mean for their competition? It means they're in trouble, big time. They're already in trouble. This means the gap is even wider than we thought it already was. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Thank you for tuning in and thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate you guys. Also, YouTube members. Great to have you guys. If you want to be a YouTube member, you can access about one video per day earlier, a few days in advance, three or four days in advance of when we show those videos on the channel. Plus it helps to support us as well. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon page and our YouTube membership page. Plus, if you want to buy stocks on stake, not for you guys in the US, but for you guys in Australia, New Zealand, Brazil, and the UK, you can actually get a free stock if you just use my promo code. Don't even have to do anything. Just create an account and you can get a free stock. So go right ahead. I'll put the promotion code in the description. Reports out of China said that BYD are going to produce, mass produce, sodium batteries from the second quarter of 2023. You know what? I have to say it's pretty likely that most of the reports that come from China in regards to the BYD from these kinds of sources are, well, generally correct, reputable, and end up being true. Therefore, I think it's true, but I don't know that all of it's true. I'm going to tell you what I think is true and what I think is not true. CATL. I made a video about CATL about a year and a half ago, right about when I was starting this channel, talking about how those batteries, sodium batteries that CATL are working on, will change the world. Now, CATL has just announced that they will launch a sodium iron battery in July of this year. Now, if you're watching this video sometime in the future, I'm talking about July of 2021. So it's happening soon. Now, what is a sodium ion battery exactly? And why are they launching it? When I say change the world, I wasn't referring to having battery packs in electric cars using sodium batteries. I was referring to sodium batteries being used en masse all around the world for energy storage. The world needs battery storage, not just for cars. It needs even more battery storage for grids. Yep. When solar brings in energy during the day and wind brings in energy, we need to be able to store that energy. And the grids are going to transfer very quickly from coal and other polluting fossil fuels to solar and wind and batteries as soon as capacity of batteries is there. Because why? There is a boatload of sodium. It's everywhere. There's so much sodium, it's ridiculous. No one really wants it. No one really uses it. But if we can use it in batteries for energy storage, it changes the game. Renewable energy is way, way cheaper than any other form of energy. But the trouble is getting the batteries where we need to store the energy. Of course, when there's no sun, when there's not enough wind, we do need some level of energy storage. Sodium changes the game because CATL said that it will cost them about 30% less to manufacture their energy storage batteries using sodium than it will using lithium iron phosphate. And that's a huge difference. That changes the way we look at the cost of renewable energy. And that, my friends, definitely will impact the world in profound ways that I don't think many people quite comprehend yet. Car company on the face of the earth using sodium batteries in electric cars. Imagine the tremendous cost advantage it will have. BYD, says CNN Post, is planning to produce mass produce sodium ion batteries in the second quarter of 2023 that will be featured in the Chin EV, the new Dolphin electric car, 
and the new Seagull electric car. Now I've reported on all of those cars. I'll put some links in the description below to my videos about the Dolphin and the Seagull. The Dolphin and the Seagull are both international model vehicles. They're gonna be coming to lots of different countries around the world. So you wanna know about those cars. BYD's power battery division, Fin Dreams, is responsible for the development and mass production of the sodium ion batteries, which are currently in the sample validation stage according to the report. Now the Chin EV and the Dolphin are both pure electric vehicle models priced at RMB 100,000, which is around 14,000 US dollars or just under that, up to around 20,000 US dollars. BYD Seagull will be launched next year on their new platform and it's a smaller vehicle. It's sort of a similar size to say a Toyota Yaris and that would be priced at around 11,000 US dollars. So the report said that the launch of the Seagull means that BYD will increase its efforts in the sub 100,000 is it as in sub under $14,000 electric vehicle market where the competition will become more intense, they say. Now, I actually strongly disagree with CNN Post claims here that the competition will be more intense because if you look at the European car market, BYD are clearly going after the European car market. Pretty much most manufacturers have given up on really small kind of sub-compact micro cars, sort of like the Fiat 500e. Most manufacturers are like, nah, they're too hard, right? If BYD brings a compelling vehicle, right, a compelling electric car, for less than 16,000 US dollars to Europe, many countries around the world, it's gonna just dominate the market. No one is playing in that field. There's no one. No one right now is making anything compelling that's electric, that's affordable in that size, in those countries. They will dominate the market. That is not a competitive market. That's what I think BYD are going after. Now, yes, the Chinese car market for that segment is insanely competitive. BYD are not stupid. They're not gonna go, yeah, 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 let's make all these electric cars and just sell them against masses of competition here in China. They're planning on manufacturing these vehicles, I believe, to export, mostly as export models. That's what I think their plans are. And why wouldn't they be when you can have way bigger margins when you sell them outside of China versus inside of China. From January to October, 1.5 million vehicles priced below 14,000 US dollars were sold electric vehicles in China, accounting for 37% of total electric vehicle sales in China. That's a higher share than all other price categories. So that's why I don't believe these cars are manufactured primarily for the Chinese market. I believe they're thinking in mind of other markets outside of China. BYD is likely to be the first company in the world to put sodium ion batteries in cars, say Chinese media, and these batteries will be in some versions of the Chin EV Dolphin and Seagull. Earlier this year, spy photos of a model suspected to be the BYD Seagull circulated several times on Chinese social media. That car will be coming out very soon. In fact, most people say it's going to hit the market in about early to mid 2023. Surprisingly, CATL have said that their sodium ion batteries have actually hit 160 watts per kilogram, which is the highest in the world. Previously, I thought the energy density of sodium batteries wasn't gonna be high enough to make them viable in EVs, but now we're seeing CATL hit 160 watts per kilo. It's possible BYD have hit a higher number than that. If they've hit a higher number than that, I mean, even 160 watts per kilo, that is feasible for an EV. So it's actually definitely possible that this is happening, but is this report accurate? No, it's not, clearly. It's clearly inaccurate on a couple of levels. I'm gonna explain why that is. It's physically impossible that these vehicles are going to debut next year at any point in time with sodium ion batteries. If they're in the validation phase today, that's just ludicrous to suggest they're in a validation phase in no, end of November in 2022 and sodium batteries are gonna suddenly hit the market in their EVs in 2023. That's just preposterous. There's zero chance of that happening. But will they come out in future? Very, very possible, but it won't be in 2023. Those models will definitely debut with lithium ion phosphate blade battery packs. But the key question is, when will they start using sodium ion batteries? Do I believe they will? Absolutely. I've been thinking about this for a while now. It makes complete sense to develop sodium ion batteries, and it gives BYD a massive advantage. It is such a significant advantage when you consider the fact that the price of lithium has gone up by a factor of 18 times versus where it was at two years ago. The current price of battery grade lithium carbonate in China 
is Chinese RMB 600,000 per ton. It was at 41,000 per ton in June of 2020. So what's the big advantage of sodium ion batteries? Well, they cost a lot less. 30% less is massive, but they do have a lower energy density and a lot of analysts say they're not gonna replace lithium batteries. And that may be true. When they're referring to them replacing lithium ion batteries in cars, it may very well be true that they don't fully replace them ever. But I do believe that they will replace much of the lithium ion stationary storage energy market within the next five years. More than likely they will, especially in these big mega packs we're seeing. CATL clearly plan on actually moving a lot of their energy storage away from lithium ion phosphate and making that sodium ion. They've already admitted to that. So that's very likely to happen. But I agree with the analysts that they probably won't replace lithium ion in battery packs en masse. It'll just be a niche sector that some companies will use to their advantage because imagine the profit margins, BYD. BYD will be able to increase their, they're already making a profit from EVs. There are only, there's only two companies in the world making a profit from EVs, BYD and Tesla. This is gonna give them a big advantage. They'll be able to increase their profit margins without increasing the price of their cars. Now that, my friends, is very, very scary for the competition. Now let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.